What's up, you beautiful collectors and action figure fans? Once again, it's the one and only Optibotomist coming at you with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to the absolutely incredible support by the folks over in Mattel, we're going to be taking a look at their new Disney Pixar featured favorites of none other than Celia and Mike Wazowski from the Disney Pixar film Monsters, Inc. A new line from Mattel designed to give us highly detailed, film accurate, articulated representations from several classic Disney Pixar films. For the package, as you can see, you have a really nice open window that fully showcases the figures. Of course, you have the Monsters, Inc. logo right up there, the name of the characters, and gorgeous CGI images of them right in the bottom. Also, one thing that's really kind of cool is the background here fits with basically the scene that they're trying to recreate. Mike Wazowski was really trying to get a, a special night for Celia. So he pulled some strings and took her to a sushi restaurant. Which is where a lot of the hijinks with Boo starts. So it makes sense that they would go with this kind of scene. But you can see you've got some background stuff here of the actual restaurant, which is kind of cool. Come around to the side, though. you got another up-close image of Mike with, with this fair lady Celia right there. The other side here has a continuation of that window. Come around to the back of the package. You get some details in terms of the features, as well as the other figures that are available in this first assortment. But uh, for the packaging on these guys, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get them out here and see how cool they actually are. And here we have Mike Wazowski and Celia open up and out of their packaging. And I really am very, very impressed with these figures. I've heard, it's, I've heard the phrase used many, many times. But it literally does look like these figures jumped right off the screen. A lot of times 2D characters do not translate very well in terms of 3D figures. But because Pixar films are typically done in a 3D sort of animation style, action figures form work perfectly. Starting off first with some accessories. Uh, they do come with some. You get a little teapot right here, uh, which... Looks good. Uh, I mean, fairly simple, but you can see that it does what it needs to do. Also, an absolute gorgeous tray with sushi. And th there's some goofy ones on here. Like, you got like, little eyeballs right there. I mean, I'm a big sushi fan, and I just think something like this is hilarious. Not even going to lie, I would have loved it if they put a little tiny uh, orange, white, and black style sushi. Uh, if you get that reference, you are pretty darn cool in my book. But now coming in to take a look at the figure, starting off first with Celia. Again, gorgeous representation here of the character. Uh, I mean, the detail all the way around is really well done. I mean, you can see that the hair has a lot of this sculpted in detail to give that snake sort of look, which looks cool. Come down to the rest of the body, you can see the different scales on her dress. Even the detail on the snake heads themselves looks really good. They're painted and very, very nicely capture how those little things Look, now I don't really think that they are soft. Uh, I don't think that there's a, a wire inside there. You can see they kind of just go back to where they're supposed to. But she does have that rubbery wire material down here for her legs. So you can actually articulate these. Um, I don't know really why you would want to, honestly. I mean, you can... Uh, that, that's kind of awkward looking. Uh, but, I mean, you can see that uh, you can get her standing perfectly fine. You just kind of have to tripod her a little bit. But you can see that those are a very rubbery material, which still looks good. And honestly, I don't see, you know, typically they have those little uh, holes in there. I don't see that in there. So, uh, I mean, it keeps a very nice, cohesive look to her. She does have a pretty good level of articulation. The head here is on a ball joint, so you can get that looking left and right, and you can kind of wiggle it. The shoulders here, the only thing that I would say about the shoulder, and I can't really tell, um, this one doesn't go down as far, and I, I don't really know why, and that that does kind of bother me, because um, I like having that down like that, and then this one's always kind of jutting out. It, it, it's just a personal preference. It doesn't ruin the figure or anything. Uh, I just wish I could put that all the way down, but you have a pin hinge joint here for the shoulders, and then you have a pin hinge joint for the uh, elbows so again you can kind of pose her around and get some really cool poses you can use this uh, as you can see in the beginning she can claw that and uh, hold her little teacup which is fantastic 
overall oh and then you also do have a uh, waist swivel as well so uh really very cool uh honestly i'm very happy with that uh now for mike uh he is just a giant ball with an eyeball but again great great representation as i said 3d figures translate so much better when the characters are 3d I love the little smirk that he has on his face. Of course, he's got the little horns right up here. You can actually articulate the eye. You can see uh, you can move it around. It is a little bit trickier to do, um, but you can move it around, kind of have him looking down, have him looking up, looking lovingly over at Celia if you really want to. I mean, there's not a lot of detail that they really need to put into this because he's just green, but uh, great detail with the eye. I mean, I really like that. I, I think that it could have been a little bit better if it was a little bit more glossy. You can see the white has a nice kind of shine to it, but on the actual lens and iris and stuff, if there, if there was a little bit more gloss there, that would have been cool to see. It doesn't bother me or anything, but that would be my, one minor, and I, I do mean minor kind of criticism on that. Articulation-wise for him, uh, he does have that pin hinge joint for the shoulder as well, so you can articulate that around. Does not have anything at the elbow, which is kind of unfortunate, but he does rotate at the wrist and also does have a hinge there. So uh, it works pretty good uh, considering uh, and with that extra little bend right there. It doesn't really need to have art articulation there, but it, it would still be nice, but I'm, I'm not going to complain too much. The... Hips here are on those pin hinge joints, so you can move it forward and back. You can also rotate it and get it going outward, uh, but there is no like ball joint type of thing right there. So you do have to kind of be a little bit creative. There's also no knees there, but the ankles do move forward and back, and they also rotate. So again, in terms of posability, uh, he stands perfectly fine. Uh, now, granted, he, he's a little bit more leaned back. So you do have to be a little bit more creative with some of the posing to have him not be leaning as far back. Uh, let's see here. It's easy enough to do. I don't know. He's still kind of leaning forward. Will I do it? Oh, well, no, no. You do, you do have to balance. Oh, there we go. I mean, that's, that's a good kind of up and down sort of pose. I love it, though. I, I really am quite impressed with how these guys turned out. Now, I, I do not know. I would imagine that this is a line that is going to uh, continue on uh, just because Pixar is a very popular uh, movie studio movie studio that puts out a lot of very successful films. So you got to believe that a Sully is coming. Who he would get paired with is probably up to anyone's... I mean, he's probably going to be a little bit bigger. So you could easily have him come with Boo. You know, but uh, time will tell. As it is, uh, these ones are great. I love them. I think that they turned out terrific. And if you are a fan of Monsters, Inc. or Pixar, these are absolutely figures that I would recommend picking up. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Once again, I want to send a huge shout out to the folks over at Mattel for helping to make this review possible. And finally, guys, remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you all for watching and taking the time to be a kid.